Hello, my name is Sam. I'm from usedreamweaver.com, a free tutorial, template, and photo resource. In this video, I'm going to help you understand how to insert an image into the background of your website using Adobe Dreamweaver. First, if you don't have a file open, go to File, New to create a new file, or go to File, Open to open an existing page from your hard drive. In this case, let's create a new file by clicking on New. And it'll ask us what type of page we want. We want a blank page, HTML page type, and select None for the layout. And we'll go down here and click Create. And we will see that Dreamweaver has created that page for us, which we can view three different ways, either in the split view, which I'm looking at right now, which is split code and split design, or we can view the code view by clicking up here to view just the code, or we can view just the design view by clicking on design. In this case, we will go with the split view so we can see what's going on in the code, and we can also see the design view. Inserting a image as your background is very simple. Simply right click on the background in the design view here you will see this menu appear, and you want to select Page Properties. When I click on Page Properties, the Page Properties window appears, and here we can change some settings. Here is where we change the background color. For instance, I can make the background blue, but that's not what we're doing right now. We will get rid of the color. And right here is where we can insert a background image. We can click Browse to find a photo, and I have one right here that I'd like to use. And I'll click OK, and we'll see that our photo is selected there, and I can click Apply to have a look. And as you can see, it has inserted not just one of our photos, but many of our photos. We can change this by looking at the Repeat box here. If we click on this drop down menu, we have four different options. We have no repeat, repeat, repeat X, and repeat Y. And I'll explain what each of these are. No repeat means that the image will not repeat. And if I click OK, we will see that there is just one of our images in the background. And it is, in fact, in the background because if I go out of this, I can type right over top of it. We'll open up that window again by right-clicking and going to Page Properties. And I will show you these different options here. There is Repeat, which we have already seen, which is the default, which repeats the image on both the X and Y axes. We can change this to Repeat X, which means the image will only repeat across the screen on the x-axis, and we can look at that. And last but not least, there is repeat y, which repeats the image just on the y-axis. And if I click apply, you will see that it is just repeated on the y-axis. And if I switch this to the design view, I can see this continues. As I press enter and space down the page, this continually goes, and it will go um, until the bottom of your page and will continue to repeat. So that's how to insert an image as the background of your website using Adobe Dreamweaver. I'm Sam from usedreamweaver.com.